Welcome back to Peston on Sunday. I'm delighted to be joined by the WikiLeaks founder, uh, Julian Assange, who's speaking to us live from the Ecuadorian embassy, where he's been for the last four years after being granted political asylum. Um, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Mr. Assange. When you were last on the programme, um, you talked to us about how you were about to publish some very damaging emails for Hillary Clinton. Um, and you made it absolutely clear at that point that you were not happy about the prospect of her being in the White House. Now, you know, Donald Trump is now in the White House. Are you pleased with the impact you had on the presidential election? I don't think that's the correct way to describe it. I, I seem to recall I would have said extremely interesting uh, emails. Uh, and I don't think I, I made a position anyway in relation to Clinton. Uh, we, we certainly have suffered, uh, like many journalists and sources, under the uh, government of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, uh, which, let us not uh, forget, uh, engage in an epidemic uh, against journalists and sources, uh, prosecuting uh, three times as many, or uh, criminally investigating, three times as many journalists and sources as all previous presidencies uh, combined. Now, it'll be very interesting to see whether that precedent is taken uh, by Donald Trump uh, and used in his administration. It, it might well be. Well, at the moment, he's being very hostile to journalists. Um, do you think he will if be he, a better if president if than Trump? If he's, it, the, the, if he's hostile to their, to their accuracy, if he's hostile to their accuracy as an organisation that has, in 10 years, never got it wrong in terms of authenticating a document, He's hostile to the accuracy, we understand. Lots of very inaccurate journalists. I would say that the partisan nature of journalism in the United States and everywhere really is, is really coming to the fore. So he can complain about that, that's fine. It's a very different matter to uh, use the FBI, uh, use the CIA, use the NSA, as in our case, uh, to go after a journalists and their sources, attempt to bring prosecutions spy on them, etc. Uh, all the infrastructure has been set up to do that. For years, I and uh, Binney and Snowden have been saying that uh, there has been a mass surveillance apparatus erected in the United States, which is a turnkey tyranny. All it will take uh, is a president that's willing to turn that key. But you're perceived to have helped Donald Trump and indeed perceived to have helped Vladimir Putin. How do you feel about those allegations? Well, if we look at what the allegations actually are, what is it? It's that WikiLeaks published the true words, uh, at least the authentic words, uh, of Hillary Clinton and her campaign staff, uh, and that the American people read what she said uh, to Goldman Sachs, for example, in her private talks, uh, and they didn't like it. Uh, they didn't like the way that she rigged the election uh, in the primaries. Uh, against Bernie Sanders, uh, using her cronies in the DNC, such as Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, and they reacted against it. So this is just a this is a matter for the American people what they choose to like uh, and choose to not like. It's a matter for Clinton and her campaign staff what they chose to do and what they chose to say. Uh, if in the end the American people decided they preferred Mr. Trump uh, to her. Uh, then that's their business. Now, the American security services have alleged that you were fed this information by Russia. You've denied this, but you also are very clear that you don't investigate the provenance of material. You obviously check its authenticity. How can you be certain that the information didn't come from Russia? or via Russia? That, no, that's a bit of a misnomer. We use a, a variety of techniques. Sometimes in our investigation of our material, we end up understanding quite a lot uh, about the provenance. Other times yeah. we don't need to understand that to authenticate it. Depends on how we get it, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a, a variety of but But are you 100%, are you 100 certain that this is not material obtained by Russia's security operation? Well, as a source protection organisation that has a perfect record in protecting sources, our sources, uh, well, 
you know, we don't want to play 20 questions with sources. We're not going to... I'm not, I'm not playing 20 say, questions. Say I just want to ask you on this specific... Know, et but I just want to ask you on this very specific and material point. I'm not going to play 20 questions. Yeah. If, you, if you give me a, a straight, it definitely didn't come from Russia, we can leave it there. But you're not saying it, didn't, it definitely didn't come via Russia, are you? We, we, have, we have said just two things. One, uh, we are sure it is authentic, the variety of material we published across the election. Uh, we published quite a lot of different material sure. uh, from different places. All authentic, that has been borne out. Uh, the claims otherwise, pushed by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, by Tim Kaine, uh, Clinton's running mate, were false. Uh, have been proven to be false. No one alleges any more uh, that they're not completely authentic. They are. Secondly, uh, that our sources are not members of a state. Not yeah. members of a government. The, the, yeah, they may not. Yeah. But you're not saying that your sources themselves weren't members of a state, though, are you? But let's 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 move. Well, we, we know the original source. We we know the original sources. We know our sources. The original sources are, of course, but, uh, uh, Tony Podesta, Hillary, Hillary sure. Clinton, uh, the DNC, etc. I think there is still yeah. a bit of uncertainty about how they how, how how it got to you and whether Russia was in. Well, it, if, we, if we look at the. We look at the U.S. intelligence reports. I mean, you know, we, we can look at them and what U.S. intelligence has been saying. James Clapper, the, up until very recently, the head of the DNI, who yeah. oversees all the uh, U.S. intelligence agencies, said, as to WikiLeaks, we don't know when they got their material, we don't know how they got it. Uh, it was repeated, essentially, by Barack Obama in his last uh, press conference uh, that, he, that he performed, uh, that uh, as to WikiLeaks, we don't know or were they witting, unwitting, etc.? So there's there's just a, an admission that there's a complete lack of understanding in relation to us and to our sourcing. Now, what the Russians have been doing elsewhere, and the Chinese, etc., is very normal for them to sure. hack a wide variety of institutions in intelligence gathering, and also the United States. The United States has done so for many years, including. Uh, here in Europe, um, including in relation to elections. No, no, Mr. That's Sorry, normal. Can, can I that's just ask normal. you? Yeah. That's not, that's, you know, just, just because some institution yeah. gets hacked by some government, yeah. that doesn't mean sure. that there's a pairing to what we publish. Now, can I just ask, because lots of people have been asking me to press you on this, will you now be focusing your investigation as, uh, efforts on the current president, in particular, lots of people have said, why don't they get hold of his tax... Why doesn't WikiLeaks get hold of the president's tax returns? Well, why don't you get hold of the, the no, tax no, sure. returns? No, no. I mean, I mean we, we, we're, we're three times during the election, we called for that. Uh, I think I might have... I mean, it wasn't on your TV show. Anyway, yeah. on TV and twice uh, on social media, we sure. put out calls for Donald Trump's tax return. And twice after, we've also put out calls uh, of course we're interested in that, uh, uh, apart from one that looks like it might have come from his ex-wife. Hmm. Uh, no journalists have been managed to get hold of those things. OK, we're pretty good, uh, but we're, we're not infinitely good and we don't have infinite capacities. Uh, you know, it's, no. a, it's a matter of time, funding, developing sources, etc. Now, on your welfare and future, you did say that were Chelsea Manning to be released, you would release yourself from this self-imposed incarceration uh, and take whatever comes in terms of possible extradition to well, the it's, US. It's not a self-imposed self incarceration, that's false. Well, th what, what will you now do that uh, the, the, the previous president, uh, Obama, has commuted Chelsea Manning's sentence? Will you be leaving the Ecuadorian embassy? Well, it's, it's an enormous victory. Uh, let's look at uh, the victories that WikiLeaks has secured in relation to sourcing. Who are the two most uh, best-known sources uh, in the world? They are uh, Chelsea Manning uh, and they're Edward Snowden. Yep. Uh, we nearly totally secured uh, Edward Snowden's asylum. It's very interesting to see the asylum debate in the United States because I've come to know quite a lot about asylum law. Uh, and for Chelsea Manning, quite a ro wide range of different groups from Amnesty and a ACLU, his lawyers, but also us campaigning for many, many years. Uh, and uh, me in September and a week before the asylum, doing everything, so before his clemency, doing everything possible to make sure uh, that he would receive, yeah. that she would receive sure. that clemency. OK, so this is, this is so, so you've, a matter so, of chess. So, exactly. This, this and, is and a, ma a matter, matter sure. of chess. 
there, there were op opponents to that clemency within the Democratic Party. Sure. Why were they opposed? They were opposed because he's famously an alleged source of mine. Sure. Famously. And the, the US government is, invest is trying to get up a prosecution about us two conspiring So, so can together. I just check, because so, we're, all, so we're almost out of time, because it, people really care about yeah, this, sorry. and they, they care about what happens to you. Are you saying that you're not yet ready to take the risk of, of leaving the embassy? Uh, we have approached the DOJ. We approached the DOJ before the election, yeah. uh, saying, are they going to drop this case? We say it's unconstitutional, that it is unlawful, uh, that it should not be pursued. What are they going to do? So you're going to wait and hear from, we're going to wait to, and hear from them, are you, before you make up? We, ha we haven't heard, we haven't heard back from the DOJ yet. The ball is in their court. Uh, if it re if to settle the matter requires. Uh, going to the United States under certain uh, circumstances where my rights are protected, that's something we want, we want to discuss. Okay. But the ball is in the DOJ court. Julian Assange, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely fascinating.